Okay, I want to show off some of my boots today. A little older too. This is probably the oldest boot I got, 1977. I had this recently restored by a Snellville Shoe Repair. They did a complete sole off German leather and even signed it for me. This is a 1979 alligator. I'm gonna do some uh, conditioning today and show that conditioning your boots will make them last just a lifetime. I've worn cowboy boots since I was a senior in high school. When I'm 67 years old. And I got married in these boots 36 years ago. So some things in a marriage still last. They start really looking bad on the inside. So I had them put these uh, patches on the inside. That really helped them. This is a Annie, one of the most comfortable boots in the world. You can't get these anymore, but they're just super soft. Playing my steel guitar just really plays easy with that. This looks similar to alligator, but this is an old, old sea turtle. They've been on extinction list for years. And the difference, I actually recognize these in a thrift store. The difference in it and alligator is you can run your finger over it and you'll feel these ridges and indentions. If you get a close up of that, you can kind of see that. They didn't know what they had at that uh, thrift store. I got these worth the money. But today, what I'm gonna do is show how I condition boots. Jared's got a brand new pair he got for Christmas. So I, I do them inside and out. And I like to start on the inside first. This product here will not change the color of boots at all, like especially the lighter ones that you have problems with. So I put it on my fingers and I go all the way up to the very front, work it in real good all the way to the toe area. actually do each boot a little different to show how I do it. And I use nature to make sure it gets in the leather real good. Call gravity. So what I'll do with this one, I'll turn it up down like that. It'll just come right into the leather. Now this one, I'm going to do it a little different. I've already done this one side. And when I do one side and lay it down, I always do the inside. So I'm going to flip it over. And then I'll do the tops just on this one side. And later I will come back and flip it over and do the other side and the inside. But I'll do it like that. Then I'll lay it down. We've already done the tops of it. So I'll, I'll lay this one down just like that. Leave it overnight. I got plenty of time. And then tomorrow 
I'll flip it over and do the other side. So that's two ways that I do the inside of uh, cowboy boots, conditioning. This Big Four is the best I've ever used. It does a great job. It will not, on lighter boots like this, it will not change in darkening. I have used some other conditioners that would. On a boot like this, it's really light. You never want to put mink oil on it because it will get dark and you can never get it lightened back up. And so a lot of times you learn by your mistakes and by doing this all your, all your life, I've learned about my mistakes. Now here's an idea my wife gave me. This was a good idea. These are cheap. You can buy a whole length of it and cut them down to size and they make excellent, like a shoe tree. Now this old boot, back in the day, they had a, an alligator, like a serial number, and that's what's left of it. This, I got these like in 1979. So on the inside of my boots, I would uh, put the year, because I never sell them, I keep them. So I love boots, they'll, uh, they'll stay with you forever. So I just wanted to show that little tip of how, how I do it. Thank you.